Hi everyone. In this video, you are going to learn about the high pass RC circuit, how it is acting as a differentiator. When we were discussing about low pass RC circuit, I told you low pass RC circuit is acting as an integrator. Okay, low pass RC circuit, low pass RC circuit acts as integrator integrator that means the output voltage is proportional to the integration of input voltage that is the meaning of integrator and here the i pass rc circuit acts as a differentiator i pass rc circuit acts as differentiator that means the output voltage is proportional to the differentiation of input voltage the differentiation of input voltage that is the meaning of this one okay low pass rc circuit acts as integrator and high pass rc circuit acts as differentiator very 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 important remember this don't confuse low pass rc circuit acts as integrator high pass rc circuit acts as differentiator low pass rc circuit acts as different integrator means output voltage is integration means what output voltage is proportional to integration of input voltage and here Differentiator means output voltage is proportional to differentiation of input voltage. Okay, but when in which condition this occurs and in which condition this occurs, this integration occurs in when RC is very far greater than the input signal period. And here in the high pass RC circuit, high pass RC circuit acts as a differentiator when RC is less than less than input signal period T. These are the two important cases you should remember in the linear wave shaping unit. Okay, so in the linear wave shaping, you are, we, have, we have already almost discussed and we are at the end of this linear wave shaping. Um, first, we have seen the low pass RC circuit and next high pass RC circuit. Low pass RC circuit, high pass RC circuit, these two are applied with different inputs and we have seen the behavior of this particular networks with different outputs and low pass rc circuit high pass rc circuit what we have to mainly understand is rc low pass rc circuit acts as integrator and high pass rc circuit acts as differentiator in these two conditions rc greater than greater than t low pass acts as integrator and rc less than less than t high pass acts as differentiator okay that's why the output voltage is proportional to integration of input voltage and output voltage is proportional to differentiation of input voltage in the differentiator and integrator cases. Okay, you have to remember this. And low pass, if you want to more elaborately say the differences, low pass RC circuit has a higher cutoff frequency and high pass RC circuit has a lower cutoff frequency. Okay. Low pass RC circuit has higher cutoff frequency. So bandwidth is equal to simply higher cutoff frequency. High pass RC circuit has lower cutoff frequency. Here also bandwidth is equal to higher cutoff frequency because the other frequencies are not there. Now coming to the high pass RC circuit as a differentiator, what is the condition we have assumed? RC must be very less compared to the input signal period. Remember this. In this condition only the high pass RC circuit acts as differentiator. If you apply a square waveform for such type of high pass RC circuit where RC is very less compared to the input signal, then RC is very less compared to the input signal means what capacitor takes very short time to charge and very short time to discharge. Okay, it immediately charges, it immediately discharges. That's why even if there is a sudden change from 0 to a certain voltage like V, capacitor immediately allows it does not allow actually it does not allows that's why the output also rises to v volts but here there is a constant voltage for this constant voltage capacitor responds quickly and immediately charges so capacitor charges means output goes down capacitor charging means the remaining voltage is coming to the output so output goes down again at t is equal to something like take it as t1 t2 instant at t is equal to t1 what happens there is again a sudden change in the input v volts down that's why here also there is a v volts down in the output as the capacitor does not allow any sudden changes again 
it has a constant voltage in the input that's why capacitor also charges quick discharges quickly and goes down like this okay this process is repeated as the case rc is very very less compared to t there will be spikes in the output this type of waveform it is known as spikes spikes so high pass rc circuit in differentiation or differentiator high pass rc circuit as a differentiator converts square wave into spikes okay now i have a question for you when a low pass rc circuit acts as a integrator how the square wave form is converted into converted into triangular wave form okay hope you remember that so low pass rc circuit acts as integrator and converts a square wave form into triangular wave form high pass rc circuit acts as differentiator converts a square into spikes i will write here only low pass rc as integrator converts square into what triangular wave form triangular wave form because capacitor takes very long time rc greater than greater than t means capacitor takes very long time to charge very long time to discharge so it goes like this it goes like this and it comes like this goes like this and comes like this that means that means it simply converted into a triangular wave form okay this is about how the rc circuit in the high pass case acts as a differentiator now let us see what i told you high pass rc circuit as a differentiator the output voltage is proportional to the differentiation of input voltage let us prove this how we have got this one see the current flowing through the circuit i of t we can write it as what is the current flowing through the capacitor there is only two components those two components are also in series in this high pass rc circuit so as they are in series the same current i of t flows through the capacitor and as well as through the resistor so i of t we can write it as i of t current flowing through current flowing through capacitor is i of t is equal to c into dv by dt which we here input voltage v output voltage is no way related to the capacitor okay this i of t that is flowing through the capacitor is because of the application of input voltage v of t that's why c into dvi of t by dt okay so and the output voltage across resistor output voltage we are taking across resistor is v not of t is equal to i of t into r because v is equal to ir the same current flows through the resistor because the resistor and capacitor are in series so if you substitute this r into c into dv i of t by dt what do you mean by rc it is a constant more precisely if you want to say it is a time constant <laughs> it is a time constant so simply time constant if you take it as a constant and write it in the proportionate condition then v not of t is proportional to dvi of t by dt d not of t is equal to dvi of t by dt this is the meaning of differentiator output voltage is proportional to the differentiation of input voltage therefore high pass rc circuit acts as differentiator high pass rc circuit acts as differentiator when the time constant 
RC is very less compared to the input signal time period T. In this case, square waveform is converted into spikes. Converted into spikes. Can you tell me what is the main application of this spice? The main application of this spike signal is in triggering. Triggering the circuit. Okay, in monostable multivibrator or in vibrators, generally we have to use a triggering pulse. Okay, in that triggering signal or triggering pulse, we generally choose a spike signal or differentiated output because triggering means it we need a very short duration signal. That short duration signal is nothing but a spike. Okay, this is about the high-pass RC circuit, how it is acting as a differentiator. Now, let us go through a simple problem. An oscillator has, an oscilloscope has a coupling capacitor. Coupling capacity is nothing but CC, 1 microfarad. When the input resistor Ri is equal to 1 mega ohm, determine the minimum square wave frequency that can be displayed if the tilt is not to exceed 1%. Here tilt is given in the name of tilt, we need to calculate. Okay. So first write down what are the parameters we have given. So coupling capacity is given CC 1 microfarad and resistor is given input resistor 1 mega ohm, 1 mega ohm, 1 mega ohm. Then pulse width we can calculate pulse width is equal to fractional tilt fractional tilt into ri into cc so what is the fractional tilt 1% 1% 1 by 100 nothing but 0 0.01 into 1 into 10 power 6 into cc is nothing but 1 into 10 power minus 6 so simply it is 0 0.01 seconds this is pulse width now f is equal to what you are asked to calculate minimum square wave frequency minimum square wave frequency f is equal to 1 by t you have just calculated till now pulse width this is the pulse width pw one more is also another pulse width is there this is if you come add these two pulse widths then you will be calculating the entire period from here to here hope you understand now what is t t is equal to two times the pulse width so that's why one by t by one by t into two into p pulse width that is equal to one by 0 0.02 it will be 50 hertz okay this is the way to calculate this tilt problem with rc given another one is Calculate the lowest square wave frequency that can be passed by an amplifier with a lower cutoff frequency of 10 Hz if the output tilt is not to exceed 2%. <coughs> okay, so since the cutoff frequency is given, what is the cutoff frequency? Cutoff frequency is given 10 Hz. The circuit is nothing but higher cutoff frequency, uh, high pass filter or low pass filter. It is having lower cutoff frequency lower cutoff frequency means high pass filter remember that okay lower cutoff frequency is given 10 h as i am continuing the problems immediately after the topic you can assume that simply can calculate say that it is a problem related to high pass filter but in the problem in the examinations if you ask the same question if you have the same question you know you don't know which uh, for which circuit it belongs to okay so lower cutoff frequency means <coughs> high pass rc circuit okay so 
output tilt is equal to 0.02% or 0.02. So, we know percentage tilt formula. We know percentage tilt. What is the formula for the percentage tilt? Pi F L by F <coughs> into 100. Percentage tilt is given. I think by 2. As here we are having 100, you can take 2 here. 2 is equal to pi into 10 divided by F. <coughs> that is what we need to calculate into 100. So, F is equal to, it is around 1570.8 H. That means 1.5, approximately it is 1.5 kilohertz. This is the frequency of the applied square wave input signal. So, in this way we can calculate the unknown frequency or unknown resistor or capacitor, whatever may be the unknown parameter using the known formulae, percentage tilt or a lower cut of frequency. Okay. Thank you.